New at 10 tonight, an East Bay mother is in mourning following a high-speed crash in Pittsburgh with a suspected drunk driver. Tonight, from her hospital bed, the mother described losing her 7-year-old daughter and her boyfriend. KTVU's Amber Lee joins us now. She's in Walnut Creek with the mother's message. Amber. Julie, the mother is being treated here at John Muir Medical Center. She tells me it'll take months of physical therapy before she'll be able to walk again. She suffers from broken bones and a broken heart. I have to wake up the rest of my life not hearing my daughter's voice. From her hospital bed at John Muir Medical Center, Karina Rosales tells me she is in emotional and physical pain, having lost her seven-year-old daughter, Sela Mateele, and her boyfriend, Romero Castro. On Monday evening, police say a drunk driver in a black Camaro rear-ended the silver Toyota Corolla Rosales' boyfriend was driving. In the car were her three children, Sela, Nico, four, and Julian, two. They were returning home to Pittsburgh after having dinner at a restaurant. Rosales says she recalls falling asleep and waking up at the crash site with her children gone from the car. Sela, Nico, Julian, where are you? and the shock of seeing her boyfriend, who's also the father of their two-year-old. I remember touching his back and telling him, Romero, Romero, wake up, and he didn't wake up. Authorities have identified the driver arrested as 24-year-old Christian Vargas. He faces charges, including murder and driving under the influence. This guy just walks off like nothing. You know what I mean? It's horrible. The DA's office says Fargus has a prior DUI conviction. His bail is set at more than two and a half million dollars. Rosales' family says this is a reminder about the consequences of drunk driving. This is what happens. People die. Innocent people die. They shouldn't die. And then the family members that are left are the ones suffering. The family tells me they don't know the accused drunk driver, but were shocked to discover that they knew two of the passengers. One is a 10-year-old boy, a cousin to the children in the Toyota. The two-year-old was released from the hospital Thursday afternoon. His older brother, Nico, remains hospitalized with a broken leg. Sela, seen singing on the far right, is described as a smart, responsible, and loving child. Her family devastated. And I felt like all my crying, my hurt is gone, and now I'm mad. I want him to go to prison for life. Because I'm never going to be able to ever, ever see my firstborn again, and I'm never going to be able to see Romero again. The family tells me they're now faced with struggling to pay medical bills and funeral expenses. The suspect is scheduled to be arraigned in court tomorrow afternoon. Live in Walnut Creek, Amber Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.